James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a inbound NEO near-Earth object space rock that's going to split the pier, go between Earth and the moon, we hope. And it is a very large rock. Now, I've always learned and been told that a rock that's three to six feet in diameter would burn up in the atmosphere. That's been proven to be completely untrue recently in Peru, where there was a huge crater, huge explosion, and tons of damage. We're talking about hundreds of Hiroshima atomic bombs worth of energy released from a very small meteor coming in fast at an angle. Again, we're talking three to six feet in diameter. Well, JPL has announced a new near-Earth object or inbound space rock. It's going to be 2024 PZ3, and it's well over 100 feet in diameter, coming in fast at 12.2 kilometers per second very very fast and the near approach should be on august 15th in less than 48 hours much less again 2024 pz3 info just released by jpl the jet propulsion laboratory one of nasa's organizations so this rock was just spotted i want everyone to see how long it's elliptical orbit really is it takes it way out into well another part of the outer solar system now again this thing is inbound and our close approach should be tomorrow you can see absolutely no distance in between the space rock and 2024 pz3 all right, taking a look at some information over here. Solution date today, August 13th. I'm bringing it to you first as usual. Number of observations used, total 29. Data arc span, well, they say they saw it on the 11th and released the information on the 13th. Condition code should be very worrisome. Condition code of 8. 9 being highly uncertain zero being good well eight is much closer to being highly uncertain this rock's supposed to pass directly between earth and the moon here on the 15th we'll get some close approach data as well this rock again is a county country killer state killer uh, it's a large rock and it's moving very fast again at 12.2 kilometers per second it's going to be over 27,000 miles per hour. Of course, automatic, our AI software caught the rock. No human did. Condition code of 8 should worry y'all, especially since they think it's going right in between the moon and Earth. Let's get some actual close approach data. So it turns out they were able to, well, simulate almost nothing from the few views they've had. They have released the information We're talking about 0 0.0013 0 0.0132 to 0 0.0018 that's the earth so definitely further away from the earth than moon but passing right in between the two close approach to earth is august 15th that's going to be tomorrow night on the 14th central time at 8:40. Many times these rocks have companions that hopefully are smaller because this one's almost 120 feet in diameter. And if it hits the atmosphere, it's not breaking up. So in conclusion, what do we have? We have a large near-Earth object, a meteor, asteroid, space rock, inbound for tomorrow evening on the 14th about 840 Central Time. You can do your deductions from that. And they're calling it on the 15th, of course. 
However, that's going to be again about 8.40 tomorrow at Central Time. The rock's approximately 120 feet in diameter, moving at over 27,000 miles an hour, and it would be a big bang if they happen to be off with a condition code of 8. Highly uncertain. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.